Ooh. Welcome to day nine here on Try Hack Me. We're gonna do malware analysis today, and I already booted up the room and I just did the initial steps. I just casually, you know, went through what's up in the walkthrough, and then the end, we need to answer some questions. Now, the very first question is. What is the HTTP use agent and so on? Now, before we can begin and answer these kind of questions, we kind of need to understand the underlying window just here on the other side. I'm going to zoom a bit on it, but I cannot zoom that much because the screen is quite small. The thing is, we have the very first juicy, juicy tomato, you whatever it's called. I'm going to press the very first one here called main right there. That's going to give us entry to the very first method, which is called main in this program. On the line, we can see different kind of uh, other functions there are. Encrypt, for example. And the encrypt function, decrypt, sorry, is just a decryptor. And you've got a key right there. And encrypt with the same key. So straightforward. Execute command. Something with a command.exe and a slash c for executing a direct command get it something with a user agent which is also the very first answer to the first question paste it in okay so just clicking through the code will give you some of the answers implant uh, is just a way to implant uh, directly in a file and the main one more time the post it it will post using a, an HTTP method it's a post method which is probably also the question for number two we're going to answer uh, and put post. Okay. Third question. What key is used to encrypt the malware? Now let's go ahead and just pick encrypt. Double click the key and paste it in. How did I know it was the key? Well, you know, <laughs> it's... Um, yeah, well, if they named the variable key, but you know, it, it kind of looks like a key. It also says key right there, so it's just a key, right? What's the first HTTP URL used in the malware? I guess go back to the program. And then one more time, check out what's going on here. And there is something here, and you have to put it together. It's probably this one there, slash rec because it does say plus string. So you have to read the code and just add it together. You know, straightforward, not that difficult. How many seconds in the sleep counter? Now the sleep counter is the sleeper function right there. It says count. Go back to the main program one more time and see count is 1500. So that would be 15 seconds. Uh, I know it's 15 seconds because it usually is in milliseconds. So you have to divide it by a thousand. Just remove the three zeros and it's going to give you seconds straightforward again. What is the C2 command the attacker uses to execute commands via the CMD exit? Now I have to go down here a bit to the nested if statement, which is kind of ugly. You know, it's not sleep, it's not implant, not quit, it's probably shell. And if not, then you're going to go down here to result and do something. Let's go ahead and just guess it's shell. Okay, so we were right. What is the domain used by the malware to download uh, another binary? Probably go ahead and check out get it, I guess. Uh, and we can see that it does say UL, but this is just a raw function. You probably go back to program, uh, the, the top one here, and then just scroll down a bit until you actually see get it being called. And then you should be able to see an actual URL somewhere. So we have git right there. There it is, sorry. Did I just double click it? Let's go back one more time. There we go. Or maybe I should just use the wheel here. Just see if you casually see whatever. This is the easy way, just to know, just to scroll over things and just look for something that you know we were asked for because this is straightforward you haven't you don't need to 
read the code actually in order to to understand these kind of things. It's uh, uh, there is something here. It says stash mcgreedy tmh and i guess that is the one and how did i know that well it doesn't say it didn't say get it but also it did not, not mention we needed to do get it so it just said what is domain use the method to download the binary and it's actually right there you know it's gonna take this um i don't know if we can just go ahead and search for it we we'll probably do that I don't know if, if it mentioned more than once. I honestly don't know. It did not. Anyways, we finished the task and we're done. So just basically gonna, you know, straight forward from the top and down. This is just casually opening some malware in DN Spy, which is a really good program that can, you know, look at source code and stuff. Um, and just look through, look through the code. You know, th this looks like net code right c sharp it looks like c sharp to me i'm not i'm not, I'm not you know expert here but just look through the code and what is it you're looking at you know how does it work how does it function this is reverse engineering of understanding how some malware works just getting these kind of questions you know can be crucial for you to understand how it works and basically that's it i guess so i want to say see you again tomorrow on day 10 i'm gonna have a really really good night's sleep today and Keep hacking.